What's up guys? It's your girl Leslie, your favorite YouTube lesbian. <laughs> and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be playing with yellow and neon green. As you can tell, I'm taking a new yellow on a spin to see if it meets my standards. You guys know I have been trying to find the perfect yellow for a very long time. Did I find it? I don't know. You'll have to watch and see. If you guys are new here and you haven't subscribed, make sure you go ahead and do that right now before you forget. Go ahead. Turn on the bell next to it so you don't miss when I upload, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. All right, so let's see what yellow I use today. Okay, are we ready? I am so excited to be playing with this palette, finally. Like, that's so cool. The colors in here, I just can't, I can't, I love them. You guys know the main reason I bought this palette was for the white and the yellow because I have such an issue with those in James's palette. Mmm, these? This takes the cake so far. This is amazing. <sighs> anyway, so we're gonna do this really cool yellow neon green glitter moment. My eye is primed. I used the NYX White Shadow Base this time and I did set it just a little bit in my crease. So we're gonna go into Brick Road, which is the yellow, on a packing brush. This is the brush that came in the palette. I love these. I have plenty of these from the palettes. We're gonna start layering this on our lid. Like, you can actually see it. I'm so excited that I just can't hide it. No, 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 no. I don't want to lose control, but I think I like it. That I'm in such a good mood thanks to this palette. You have no idea. Now I'm also going to be pushing this inside the crease. The Sue. Like right in my eye socket. Yeah. If you have hooded eyes, make sure you are doing that with your eyes open so you can see where it's gonna go. Y'all already know, I make a mess first and fix it later. Once you get to about three quarters of the lid, don't put any on the outer B. And keep building this up to where I like it. Go ahead and continue the yellow out here. Just from the crease though. Leave this part, spart, <laughs> leave this part blank. That's where our neon green's gonna go. Okay, okay. And I put on the shadow shield, um, not because of this palette, because there really isn't much fallout for me with this palette, but more so for the neon green that I'm gonna use because that is a loose pigment from Mermaid Scale Cosmetics. Hey, oh, I'm so in love. In love with a stripper. <laughs> Anastasia, you have done it again. Hasn't she only come out with like one palette that didn't perform well that everybody did not like? Which one was it? Was it Soft Glam? I know it was a Modern Renaissance because everyone loves that one. If you know, let me know, because I, I forgot. Let's leave that for now. Now I'm going to grab a, another brush. I'm gonna take this Luxie tapered brush, and this is where we're gonna start putting Ho, 
she's a hoe, hey, she's a hoe. I'm not sure if um, that's what that means, but it's H period O period E period. Hmm, it's a hoe to me. We're gonna use this to line right above the crease line against the yeller. I'm just placing it right now and then we'll blend it shortly. We'll go back in with the yellow and clean up that line too. If you guys are new here, that's my process. Like, make a mess and then fix it later. If you've been here, y'all already know. I am like nuts today, guys. Don't mind me. All right, so I'm gonna take my favorite angled blending brush and just go over the top of the brown. Go over the top of that hoe. I'm gonna have so much fun with that color. Ah, just for the name. Let's go back and add a little bit more of the brown. I'm going to take it this time on a small liner brush to get a little bit more detailed. Why I said it like that, I have no fucking clue. And I'm going to feather it out as I go. Did you guys know that yellow eyeshadow is the color of the season right now? And I'm so glad because now I have a yellow eyeshadow that is perfect. I was going to just do, you know, a yellow and brown look, but I don't know. I really wanted to play with the neon green too, so this is where I landed. I think it's fun. I'm going to grab that Luxie brush again and just smudge this out a bit more. Over the top, because there was no green in here, I didn't want to use the neon green like right off the bat, so I did have to dip into James's palette just for his neon green. I'm going to take a blending brush and dip into that. Not a lot, just a little bit, and go over the top. Literally, everything is a song right now. I always start on the outer edge because that is where the color is going to deposit the most and then bring it in. We're gonna leave this for now and go back to the yellow. This time I'm going to use a small angled brush to go over the line in our crease. Brick road is what it's called, which is, oh, I get it. Follow the yellow brick road. Duh. Sometimes you guys, sometimes I don't know about myself, Oh 
So did I, gals and guys. Make sure you open your eyes for this one so you can really clean it up in there. Time for the neon. Because it's neon green, I don't wanna use the NYX white shadow base because it's going to change the color. So I'm gonna take some more of the e.l.f. concealer and cut out this edge right here. Leave that yellow there in the tail. Oh, this was one of those new Luxie brushes I just got. I'm liking this. I'm gonna grab a dense brush and dip into my neon green. Get it over here without spilling. Just like that. Now I'm gonna pack this over the concealer. Because the concealer isn't dry, like, look at how that stands out. Like, hello. You're gonna be able to see me coming from a mile away. I'm bringing it in towards the yellow a smidge so that they're blended together. We don't like harsh edges around these parts. That's another thing I don't like about these shadow shields. When you take them off because they like make everything damp underneath, it leaves like a harsh ass, harsh ass line that you can't blend out. So that's, that's annoying. Okay, I'm gonna take another flat brush and just tidy this up. Bring it down here. So you guys know I like to connect the bottom. Dipping back into Brick Road with the little Luxie brush. I'll put some right here. Now you don't have to worry too, too much about this because we are going to be putting the glitter right at the junction. So don't stress over it. And one more again with the hoe. <laughs> too much fun. That looks about right. What I also did with the neon green is I did not take any more on the brush, but I stamped it up here and blended it in with this lighter green. Kind of place it there. And grab the angled brush and blend ever so slightly. Just using windshield wiper motions for this. Because otherwise you're gonna end up like blowing the whole thing out. Dipping into Inspire, I'm going to take that a little bit on a damp brush <laughs> and pop this underneath the brow, the underbrow, if you will. Pretty sure that I'm the only one that made up that word, so I think I'm going to, 
I'm gonna patent it or copyright it or something. <laughs> also gonna put this in the inner corner. Which we will add some more yellow to as well. I like to bring my inner corner highlight up into the lid. If you don't, do you boo, no big deal. All right, time to put the glitter in. And this is also from Mermaid Scale Cosmetics. And they look like this. They have itty bitty circles and bigger ones. I just wanna use the itty bitty circles. For glue, you guys know what I do. I'm gonna use the Focalore Glitter Liner and just put this at where the green and the yellow meet up for lunch. I'm also putting this glue on to a flat brush to pick up the glitter pieces. And just put them on. Easy peasy. Keep in mind, if you wear lashes like me, it's gonna be a bitch trying to get the lashes to stick to this glitter. It always is, it never fails. for me to go conceal, finish my face, and we will do the under eye together. I'll be right back. All right, so I am done with everything else except for underneath the eye, which we're going to do together. So all I did was grab the neon green pigment that we used, whatever is left on your brush, and we're gonna just connect the outer V and bring it in. Just like that. I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush. Maybe. <laughs> we'll use this one just to make sure that that is blended together nicely. See how it has that stupid line right there? That's what I don't like about those shadow shields. I'm gonna grab just a little more green. Going back into Brick Road, this is what we're going to put underneath the wrist of it, the eye. Bringing that lower and smudging it upwards. So smudge has been my favorite word today. I'm gonna put a counter up and see how many times I actually said it in this video. I'm also packing more of the yellow in the inter Enter in the inner corner. As well as one more dip into Inspire. I'm gonna put mascara on the lower lash line and then we'll be completely done. Well, I like to use the Voluminous Mascara Primer which is pretty much empty and I'm so sad. I gotta go get another one. If you haven't tried this, you need to. Especially if you have short little nubby lashes like I do. It really separates them and gets them prepared to take the mascara. I'm try to not get this on my face today. I've 
already sprayed my setting spray, which I'm still trying out the Milani Make It Last setting spray. Ooh, I almost got up my nose. Ha! It beat you. And of course, on my lips, let me tell you what we're wearing. I wanted to go with something not quite as dramatic. So I lined with my next lip pencil in Maison. I first used my MAC Matte Lipstick in Whirl, and then I topped it off with the Nicki Minaj Matte Collab in She Better Work. And that's it. So, yeah, what do you guys think? What do you think about the yellow? Like, I'm, I'm obsessed, obsessed. So if you guys are obsessed and you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so you're notified every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when I upload. All right, you guys, I will see you in my next one. Bye. Five, four, three, two, I let one go.